some of the simplest things to do in CAM 350 or DFM stream are measuring, querying, and reporting upon the features loaded into the tool. The simplest of these is to query features. First of all, if I want to turn on a specific layer, I'll just double click on that layer. If you bring in intelligent data into CAM 350 or DFM stream, that would be uh, a format that has component information. You can actually see the component outlines here. And over here on the left, you can actually see the part names and can select parts. If you don't want to see the component outlines, you can go to Settings and View Options, and you can tell the software not to show you those outlines. If you want to just query an item, there is a hotkey for this, and that hotkey is Q. You see the cursor's shape change, and then when I click on an item, it tells me what that is. It also, up here on what we call the dashboard, gives me the size of that particular feature and what layer it's on. The other thing you might not notice is that this is on a grid. If I turn the grid off, then I can move around freely and snap to individual features and see what those features are. If I continue to cycle click in one location, it cycles through all the features in that location. If I just want to query a decode, I can use Info, Query, and Decode just to see what a particular shape is, or a particular net is, or a particular part is. But again, the global query is just simply using the hotkey Q and then clicking on an item to see what that is. I may also want to measure in this tool. Info, measure, point to point gives me a point to point wherever I click with the mouse. Now I can use this in conjunction with object snap to get a center to center of these two surface mounts. I can also get an edge to edge measurement by doing info, measure, object to object choosing my first object, then choosing my second object. Now in this case I wanted the surface mount, not the trace, so I just left click once more and now it sees the surface mount and it gives me the space between those two objects. Another option that we have is info measure net to net and this is useful when trying to see how close two particular nets are to each other. I can click on one net and then I can click on another net and it'll actually find looking through the board the closest point those two nets come together. The last thing I want to talk about is reporting. I can do info report decodes just to get a list of my decodes if I wanted to in quantities. Uh, if I'm doing assembly I may want to get a centroid report and since I did load components I can get a centroid report out of here. There are other reporting options, there are other query options. Um, all of those can be accessed under the info menu. I should also point out that there are options for finding particular components or nets or even decodes in the navigation pane. Just simply clicking on them will highlight a particular item. So these are ways to get info, to measure, and to report on items in CAM 350 and DFM stream.